In this video, I'm going to be speaking about how I became a network security engineer, what is the path I took, the different certification exams I did, how I worked as a help desk engineer first, then moved on to network engineering, etc. If you want to know that, make sure you watch this video till the very end. First things first guys, if you're new to the channel, do hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and also check my previous videos out. My journey into being a network security engineer starts off with my master's degree. I completed a two years master's course in networks and security from the Monash University of Melbourne, Australia. Now on this channel, I've made many videos where I've gone on record to say that I do not 100% believe that a master's degree is essential to have a successful career in networking or cybersecurity, and I stand by that. But a few years ago in 2018, when I did my master's degree, I didn't know any better myself. But to be fair, the course that I did from Monash was very well structured and it focused on a lot of essential core foundational as well as advanced topics in the realms of networking and cybersecurity. Doing such a well-rounded master's degree in networks and security equipped me to get the best job roles that were available in the industry. But at the time, the job market was very saturated due to a lot of international students in Australia, and therefore it became very difficult to get that first all-important role as a network or security engineer. And as a result of this, folks, I turned to the help desk. Now I've made a video highlighting the importance of working as a help desk engineer because it's very personal and I have a very strong bias towards being a help desk engineer. I worked as a technical support officer as my first ever role and official entry into the Australian workforce. Working in the help desk helps strengthen your foundational level concepts when it comes to networking, security, software engineering, cloud technologies, etc. You work pretty much on everything and on a very base level. Hence, if you're working as a help desk engineer, please make sure that you use it to your strengths. Look, for me, ultimately, the end goal was to be a network engineer because that is something I really like doing. Hence, I also equipped myself with some good certification exams to give me the best shot when looking for a junior network engineer role. And that is when I did the CCNA, which is one of the best beginner level networking certifications offered by Cisco. And I also did the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam just to give myself a very well-rounded profile. Now you can either do the CompTIA Network Plus or the CCNA, and I've made a separate video on the comparison between the two, but I would still stand by doing the CCNA because it's just more meaty as compared to the CompTIA Network Plus. Having done these certifications and having worked as a help desk engineer for a year or so, I then started wandering off to get my first ever network engineering role. And trust me, if you equip yourself with the help desk experience along with some good certifications, you're bound to get your first ever role in the field as a network engineer. And that's exactly what happened. I started working as a network engineer and building networks, enabling routing, switching, all of the amazing stuff was beautiful and network engineering folks will agree with me how satisfying it is when you build your first ever network you have all of your routing set up you have your switching your end devices can communicate with the devices on the internet you can access servers etc and if you want to ultimately transition into network security or any other domain within cyber security i strongly believe that you need to have a good hold on network engineering working as a network engineer for two years was very important for me when i ultimately wanted to make that transition into network security now i wasn't just working as a network engineer but at the same time i was also studying for the ccnp which is a more advanced level certification offered by cisco now this exam is divided into two parts which is the core exam and the concentration exam I've already made a review video on what the core exam looks like because I've managed to clear this exam. So if you want to check that video out, it's on the channel. The link's going to be in the description. Please check it out. Ultimately, after this beautiful journey of being a network engineer, I was finally able to transition into network security. Now you'll ask me how exactly did I do this transition? Well, it happened by chance. 
I was just browsing the job market and that's when I came across a role for a network security engineer and decided to take that leap of faith. Now, I didn't really have the skills on my resume to warrant to get such a role, but I think the employers saw something in my profile and they thought that you know what we can train this individual on the job to get better within the network security domain. And this is my one piece of advice to you which is if you see a job role and you feel that it's a little bit out of your scope please still go ahead and apply for the role because you never know if you manage to crack an interview in the interview itself you can speak about how you're willing to learn and your hard work and your attitude is going to compensate for you not knowing the technical skills and trust me that can work in your favor but one thing i can tell you is that if you're looking to be a network security engineer the specific skills that you need to have on your resume are how to use firewalls how to deploy firewalls within a network how to ensure good security standards with network engineering and this involves port security use of vlans access control lists wireless security the different types of authentication methods how to set up radius in a network etc so pretty much network engineering but with a good security perspective encompassing it and trust me network security is on the rise because it's part of a larger spectrum being cyber security and over the last few years the field of cyber security is seeing a total boom now if you're someone who just wants to be a cyber security engineer because of what is shown in movies and shows then trust me you want to stop there a bit because there are many other harsh realities associated with being a network security engineer i've made a separate video on that the cons of network security as well as the roles and responsibilities that are required to be carried out by a network security engineer you can check those videos out the links are going to be in the description of this video and look i'm not here to demotivate you it's absolutely fun and it's fulfilling and amazing to be a network security engineer but you still need to know the other side of the coin as well so if you see it took me around 2 to 3 years to ultimately transition into network security because i started off at the help desk moved into network engineering and then ultimately into network security therefore if you find any youtube gurus saying that you know you just do a one month boot camp or a one month training course and you'll be a network security engineer I'm here to burst that bubble they are probably bluffing you. It's going to take a while, it's going to take a lot of hard work, a lot of perseverance, but you will get there. Now if you do not want to go through this entire extensive sort of 3 year timeline, you can also take a year off and do the necessary courses and certifications to be a network security engineer and some of those certifications will include the CompTIA Network Plus, the CompTIA Security Plus, the CCNA Uh, either the PCNSA or some other equivalent Fortinet or Checkpoint certifications, but all of this take your time, take a year, don't rush yourself. Make sure you do the foundations well, and that's how you can attempt to get a network security engineer job. Now let's talk about a very important aspect of this transition, and that is remuneration. The salaries of a network security engineer are way more as compared to that of a network engineer. reason being it's a part of cybersecurity in fact one of the largest domains within cybersecurity hence if you compare a network engineer salary to a network security engineer salary in fact you can do this now go to linkedin go to different job portals and you'll see that a network security engineer is paid significantly higher than a network engineer and look you're going to find more specific in-depth videos on the different things that I've spoken about such as the cons of working as a network security engineer um the roles and responsibilities of a network security engineer the transitioning from a network engineer to a network security engineer all of these videos are going to be on the channel so please make sure you check them out as well so there you go guys this was my journey into network security again starting off at the help desk working part time doing the necessary certification exams moving into network engineering working there for a good couple of years at the same time owning my skills getting that all important practical experience in getting some other certifications just to strengthen my skill set and ultimately transitioning into network security if you did find this video helpful do drop a like drop a comment and subscribe to the channel and as always i'll see you in the next video